Hey viewers, I'm RJ Schwartz from Schwartz Studio Productions bringing you a exclusive review for the Slasher Mini Network. It will also be on my account as well, Schwartz Studio Pro. Um, okay, I am doing a review on the Avengers. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. I've seen it twice already. I have the tickets here. I mean, <laughs> I even have both pairs of glasses that I got from both showings. I saw it the day it came out, not the night. I didn't feel like staying up that late. Um, I saw it the day it came out, and I also saw it yesterday. Um, I saw it. The real digital 3D showing and the IMAX 3D showing, and I have to say this movie was made for IMAX. It was incredible in there. I mean, like, those giant, like, monster things that come out of the sky look amazing in IMAX. I mean, it looks like it's going to eat you and come out of the screen. It's pretty insane. Um, so, the Avengers is... In simple terms, it's basically um, Nick Fury from S.H.I.E.L.D. He um, brings together a team of superhumans to form the Avengers. Um, and they help save the Earth from Loki and his army. Um, it seems like, it, it sounds like a really simple plot. Uh, it really is a simple plot. Like, it's just the way they did it. The way they brought these superheroes together really somehow worked. It clashed and worked and it was pretty incredible. Um, you have Robert Downey Jr. as uh, Iron Man. You have um, Chris Evans as Captain America. You have uh, Mark Ruffalo who plays Hulk in this one. Um, Hulk. <laughs> Third person to play Hulk. Um, not too happy about the fact that they had to take it took them three people to get a really good person to do this I mean I love The Incredible Hulk it was a great movie one before it sucked and had nothing to do with the Avengers at all so I don't even count it as a movie um but Mark Ruffalo did an amazing job as the Hulk and I hope they keep him because he was awesome and really funny in certain parts um he even has my favorite quote in the movie uh, we're not a team, we're a time bomb, and I thought that really, like, made sense, I mean. <laughs> um, you also have uh, Hawkeye, uh, what's his face? Um, Jimmy Renner, uh, yeah, Renner. Um, he was pretty cool, um, he shoots like arrows and crap. Um, I'm happy they didn't really do an origin story for him like they did for Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, and the Hulk. Um, because, I mean, he doesn't really have much to him. He's like, I don't know, he's, he's, he's pretty cool though. Um, you have Scarlett Johansson, who really did an amazing job as Black Widow. I mean, um, she kicks ass. It's pretty freaking hilarious at times. Um, you you expect it. I mean, she's Black Widow. She kicks butt. I can't expect more from that. Um, you have Tom Hiddleston as Loki. Um, what's this is um, God, why can't I remember his name? Uh, Chris Hemsworth as Thor. I, I should have mentioned that before. Thor was an amazing movie, and so was Captain America. So if you haven't seen those, go see them before you see this movie. Um, no, you don't have to. I mean, you, you can pretty much understand a lot from just seeing the Avengers. I mean, it, it really tells you a lot of the background story behind them. Not so much Thor, but Captain America, they show you the ending. So if you don't want the ending ruined of Captain America, go see the I mean, go see um the first Avenger first before you go see the Avengers. Um, what else? This really was like a once-in-a-lifetime movie. I mean, 
I hope they make this. I hope the sequel comes out soon because I I can't wait for Thanos. Yes, that's kind of a spoiler. He you will see him after the credits. So stay after the credit. I mean, it's like during the credits, and then they have a scene after the credits, which is pretty funny as well. Um, it's just like it was crazy. Um, there were parts where it's like it's slow. Like the the beginning is so. It's just like slow, it's just like, what's happening? Um, and then, BAM! Things just start happening and faster and faster and things just start going, they start getting the heroes and crap and it was just like, the way they did it, it was pretty crazy. Um, I don't really want to uh, spoil too much of the movie itself, so go see it. I give it a 4 out of 5 stars, <laughs> um, well, um, I think they could have made it longer, I was kind of disappointed that they didn't have, that they couldn't put the X-Men in there, or, um, the Fantastic Four, but, <laughs> like, they'd obviously have to get new people for the Fantastic Four because Chris Evans was, um, the Human Torch, but, other than that, um, I was kind of disappointed. I understand, like, it's owned by Fox and everything, but it would have been cool if they could work something out. That was my only thing that I didn't like about the movie. But, um, other than that, great movie, great actors. Um, Agent Coulson did a, that, um, got, what's his name? Um, um, Clark Gregg. Amazing job. He was really funny. I mean, like, his character in Thor was okay. I mean, he didn't really have much. He just had a few lines where he talked and stuff like that. He didn't really have too many action scenes. Same thing with Iron Man, too. I'm, and Iron Man, he wasn't really big. He was just there. It was funny, but... Um, yeah. So, go see the movie. Like, comment, subscribe, do your thing, please don't dislike, <laughs> don't hate, um, and I hope to do more reviews, I hope you enjoyed this, I'm RJ from Shore Studio Productions, and now a part of Slash Mini Network, and, well, peace out.